today I'm here with a new video and maybe I don't have figured out the right setting for my camera yet. I'm sorry about that, but video like this. And uh, today it is time for a first impression and it is with the Arcana palette from Shroud Cosmetics, formerly known as Strobe. So the palette looks like this and it is a 12 pan palette and yes, I have swatched it. And it contains six shimmers, I think, and I, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, six shimmers and six mattes. And I was so impressed when the color, when they showed the colors, and uh, they did like they did with the Divinet palette, they showed like one color time and I was like more intrigued more intrigued and more intrigued and now the palette is finally here I pre-ordered this in I think it was September and it came to Sweden in the middle of December I think and it took like a month to arrive to me I know that like Christmas and New Year's and everything made it take a longer time but it was so slow and one thing that annoyed me a little bit my friends in US that ordered this they got it before mine was even shipped out I know that it's a uh, indie company and they do everything themselves but like I paid the same amount of money and I have waited for this palette so long. It was some troubles with the manufacturing with this palette. So it took like even longer. And they were good with updates and everything. But yeah. Now it's finally here. And now I really 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 want to use it. Because this color story it is like. It feels really me. So I am just going to get started with this first impression. So I will start with, I have swatched, I think I at least know what I want to do, I have swatched a lot. Start with this one, Relic, and take it in my crease. And I was so happy when they announced that they were coming out with a new palette, because I really like the other two palettes that they have done, and they feel really like my style okay this was super dark and a little bit patchy maybe i can even this out i don't like the name change though i understand why chloe did it because she has had this brand since she was very young and yeah you can't like I understand why you maybe want to rebrand after a while if you came up with a name and everything when you were pretty young I get that but yeah I liked strobe better than shroud it's easier to say Okay, so this went on a little bit patchy, but I think I I could blend this out, so yeah, nothing to worry about there. Like maybe this was a little bit darker, but I noticed that when I swatched some of the shades, they look more dark swatched than in the pan, and I... I don't have, maybe I'm a little bit on the fence when it's like not true to pan, but it's nothing that bothers me. Like I'm not angry if it's not true to pan, but it is a little bit, I usually don't swatch before I start, so yeah. And I haven't like wanted to watch any videos with this. I think I maybe have seen once. I can't remember if I watched Annette videos on this. 
but like I want my palette so I don't want to watch anything <laughs> but I can't remember if I watched Annette's video or not okay so this was a little bit darker than I expected and it's not super even but it's kind of even it's much better than I when I placed it at first and this eye, I still have some problems with it. I have been, I have had like a dry patch out here and not everything lying down perfectly on that eye. So that's not the eyeshadow's fault. But okay, I think I will go like this and then I will go in with Ultimi. Ultima? Ultima. 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 <laughs> And take it on my outer half of my lid and I think I want to do this like a whole shimmery look and this is also darker than I expected it but it's like a really really cool green I was kind of blown away when I swatched this I wasn't planning on using this first but then I swatched it and was like, oh my god. Okay. Can you see how easy this is? I take the brush that I had in my crease just to make the blend a little bit better. No more product, just to blend a little bit. In Creepy Cute, it's only matte shades, and when I got the Divinity palette, I was so excited to try the shimmers from them, and I love their shimmers. It's like, they're as good as the matte one, but they are shimmer. They are like creamy and so nice to work with, so I'm really happy that they did both in this palette as well as in the Divinity palette and for my inner half I will go in with with this the gold one and when I swatch this I hope it will show up as good with a brush as on the swatch but I think it will yes it does this is like an amazing gold And I really like to mix gold and green. I think it's a really cool combo. And I love how easy this is. I just put it and it's there. Like no need to pack it on or anything. I will go in a little bit more with the green just to make the blend a little bit better. I love when shimmer goes on this easy. It's like amazing. Am I like finished like this? I just go in with my crease brush one more time and just take it a little bit in the crease with no extra color. And this I I really like this. Gold and green are such a good combo, and these two, amazing. I think, though, I maybe want to deep down the outer corner, so I will go in with this dark green. And this was also darker than I expected when I swatched it. So I think this will be perfect to take in my outer corner. Just to making it a little bit darker out here. And not just have like a shimmery lid. Even though I like it. Is this like I often now like do all shimmers or all mattes? Can you see any difference? Yeah, a little bit different. Yes, so something is happening out here. Okay, I really like this. I'm just going to 
get a little bit closer to my lashes down here. I have seen now the latest that I'm like not the whole way down. I don't know why. Yeah, okay, so I actually think that I am happy with the lids like this. So I'm going to take away the fallouts, fix my base and my brows, and then I come back and we do something to the under eyes. Okay, I touched the settings a little bit. And just don't know. So, okay, for my under eyes, I think I will go in with the dark green that I had out here. Just a little bit on my lower lash. We'll hope that this isn't like too dark. And I'm going in with a little bit at a time. Not so I like get too much. And I'm trying to smudge these two together. Okay, and then I think I will take this one and put it in here. Hope that that will look cool. And I actually will try without spraying my brush. Because the other shimmers were so good on their own. Like I didn't get any fallouts. And I think that worked actually pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to put on some mascara, something in my wash line. Choose a lipstick and I will try not to take a red this time. So I will fix that and then I come back. So this is the finished look for my wash line. I used Dirty Talk from Colourpop. I use this like all the time. And for my lips I took Kaleido's Lip Tonic in Infusion. Really love formula on these ones so yeah this is my first impression with the arcana palette and i like it i really really do i like the color story i think they always do like such fun color story and i feel that this brand really does palettes that i want to buy and want to use i think it is the same quality as the other two palettes they have. The shimmers are amazing. I have used three shimmers. So the green one, the gold one and the pinkish one. And really, really like them. If I should say that something is missing from the palette, I think it. I would love like a lighter shimmer. This looks pretty light, but as you can see, maybe here under my eyes, it's not that light. So, like a really poppin', but still, like the color story, I think it is a really good color story. It's like, it's good. It's nothing that like sticks out too much, and it is just a really good color story. So I am so happy that I bought this, and it's going to be so fun to play with this. I... I think I want to do a free looks one palette with this one. So yeah, that was my first impression with the Arcana palette. I'm really happy. I think that they have kept their amazing formula both on the matte and the shimmers. So yeah, my first impression is really good. I am so happy that I bought this palette and I'm so happy that it finally arrived. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video. If you aren't... <laughs> Sometimes I just need to take a deep breath. So, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!